Okay, please go ahead. I was saying good morning, and then I was reminding you that I have no happy new year wishes for either yourself or any other Nigerian. I'm wishing us a year in which our brains are alive to the pains of Nigeria sufficiently so that we might focus on what is important and seek to change it for better. That is one. Now, to deal with General Obasanjo's endorsement, let me say this. I have had several occasions to quarrel with the person of General Obasanjo, but whether I like it or not, and whether anyone else likes it or not, is a two-time president, in fact, three-time president of this country. How he performed or did not perform is the subject of history. But General Obasanjo himself is a man who is keenly aware of history, and he has sought to write that history multiple times, which is why he writes books. And we have had occasion to quarrel with some of those books. But I will say that for the first time in my lifetime, and General Obasanjo has occupied the bulk of my lifetime, he's been in my consciousness since I was in primary school. And uh, for the first time in my life, I have occasion to agree with the Ebora of Wu. And I believe that he has taken a decision that is rooted in reason and that cannot be faulted. He has written copiously as he has written in the past, but this time around, I happen to agree with him. And for the first time as well, General Obasanjo actually took responsibilities for the things he himself might have done wrong, and I believe he did a lot wrong. But he took responsibility. Now he has taken his own decision. General Obasanjo has one vote. But General Obasanjo has considerably, considerable influence within and outside Nigeria. And some people listen to him. That is the weight of his words. And he spoke those words, and he spoke them in favor of Mr. Gregory Peter Obi, endorsing him for the onerous task that is ahead. I have been heard saying severally that Nigeria has been destroyed. It has to be rebuilt and you have to reimagine it and convince the people of the need to do so. So when you have a man like General Basonjo, who has had his time and he has admitted to the past failings, and he comes up and he says, this is a man I'm endorsing. And then all of a sudden, you begin to hear the cackling. Yeah, cackling like hens in, the hen, in hen houses. First thing is this. Your enemy's horse his teeth is really ever taller than a goat. If General Basanjo's endorsement is as worthless as they would have you believe with the bitter grapes, sour grapes that they've been spitting since yesterday, why did they go all the way to Otanabe Okuta with their entourage? I was looking at a picture of a Milokan almost prostrating for Basanjo in his house. All of a sudden, his endorsement is worthless is sour grapes, and they can eat as much of it as they care. Nigerians know better. General Basanjo is one person, but he's an important person in this country, and he has had his say. The people will still have their way. He has had his own say. The people would have their way, and it is our belief and prayer that the Nigerians, the Nigerians will be sufficiently awakened to the need for the drastic changes that this country demands in this year. So General Basanjo has rightly said his piece, and I agree with him completely for the first time in my life. Thank you.